Okay, let's talk about contour and blush. So once your face is on and set, you've got your foundation, you've powdered, everything's smooth. Now we're gonna bring life to your complexion. And so the way that I love to do that is first with bronzer. Now bronzer can, not bronzer, contour. Contour can be a little bit intimidating, but it really doesn't need to be. And one of the things that people tend to do when they are doing bronzer is they bring it too low. They like bring it way in and that causes issues visually with the shape of the face. If you're in your mid to late thirties or beyond, then you actually want your bronzer tight. You wanna keep it real tight and just put it in the areas that you really need it. And I'm gonna show you that. So uh, this is our latte color and I take our cheek brush on the long side and I get it on there like that. And then simply place it right there. See that? Right under the cheekbone. I'm not coming down there way low, right under the cheekbone, and then spin it upward, okay? That is where you want your contour. That's where you want the shadow. And we're not bringing it all the way down. We're keeping it right up on the back side. That's the proper placement for contour for those of us that are mid to late 30s and beyond. Keep it high. Then I'm gonna take a clean cheek brush and I'm gonna dip into my blush color, normal application, and I'm going to apply to the cheek. Blend it all the way out. Notice I'm not going like this and hitting here because it will fall. So you want a very normal face when you apply your blush and blend it on. Same thing with the other side. You can go back and do more. You can darken it up. You can lighten it up. You can mix. But that swirl will help it not be stripey. Help you get that nice color on the cheek. That is what gives your face life. So you look fresh. You don't look dull and drab from just having foundation. So hope that helps you.